Hi there. When using this recording, please do it in a place that's safe, and obviously never while operating machinery. Thank you. Hi, this is Joe Tracy, and welcome to this meditation for connecting to your unconscious mind. Now to begin, take a nice, slow, deep breath. And continuing to breathe slowly and deeply, feel the breath fill the area just below your shoulders. And feel it move to expand into your chest. And finally, breathe so deeply that you can feel your belly and your lower ribs expanding. A deep breath, so cleansing and relaxing. And you're relaxing more and more with each breath. And if you like, you can begin to identify with the outbreath, using the gentle movement of your outbreath to release anything and everything that is no use to you. And breathing out any stray thoughts or concerns. And letting your out breath carry away any tension. And beginning to get a sense of timelessness, of openness and expansion. And begin to orientate yourself in time and space in relation to the earth to the good earth, life giving and gently spinning there beneath you, holding you and supporting you as it has with every lifetime. And now let your attention move to your root chakra, your first chakra, between your legs, the place where your body meets the earth when you sit on the ground. And you can say this is your chakra of grounding and your connection to tribe. And you can imagine that this chakra is a deep, brilliant red wheel spinning there where your seated body would meet the earth and get a sense of the energy of this chakra, red and spinning gently, and feel how it grounds and centers you. And take a moment to bring this chakra into alignment with the center of your body and with your spine. And if you like, you can slow the spinning of this energy wheel down and sense the energy moving through this chakra and through you. A red spinning wheel there where your body meets the earth. And from that wheel, you can let a root or a cord move out from your spinning chakra and down like the root of a tree grounding you into the earth moving down through the earth deep and deeper finding its way through the soil the underground rivers and down deeper to the layers of rock and deeper 
taking all the time that you need. And deeper, and knowing in your mind's eye that you sense the warmth as you move deeper, finding yourself now moving past the last layer of stone and into the molten magma of the center of the earth. Red and pulsating and kindred to your root chakra and feel that kinship. And here at the center of the earth, the deep red is from the iron that the earth holds at the center. And you can say that this iron is the same that runs through your body and into your blood. And you hold a kinship with the earth through the iron that you both share. And explore that kinship. Breathe in and breathe up the liquid molten energy of the earth up the cord, up and up into your body, and feel your body pulse gently, warmly with this energy, and explore that kinship further by sending the energy back down into the earth on your exhale, sending the earth energy now mix with your own energy, back and down. And you can say this is a gift to the earth. And on your next breath, just explore that exchange of energy. The earth to you, and back to the earth, on each breath. And fully know that your body right here, right now, grounded by this core to the earth, grounded deeply, and no wind can shake you, and no wave can sweep you away, you're grounded and held by the earth, and you can choose what you need from this earth energy a source of energy when you need it. And when you're tired and need to be energized, the molten magma and the love of the earth holds for you, offer you that. And you can choose to release excess energy through this cord and through your breath, releasing it into the earth and feeling in return a blessed groundedness and centering. And that releasing can bring the gift of deep relaxation right now. And scan your body for any place where you feel tightness or discomfort. And breathe into that part of your body and on the out breath, send that tightness or discomfort down, down the cord and into the earth where it can be transformed. Releasing whatever you will, perhaps troubles or regrets, maybe memories that are difficult or any emotional pain. And you can release all these to the earth to hold for you and to transform you. And on the in-breath, breathe up the timelessness and warm ease of the heart of the earth. Filling your body with this relaxation, loosening your muscles and your joints, and take a few breaths to send whatever you need down into this earth, this tension or this distraction and tightness, and bringing up the earth's gifts of strength and ease. 
breathing in and out, deepening this relationship. And feel your root chakra spinning and the earth spinning. And you can synchronize the direction of the spin of your root chakra with the spinning of the earth. Feeling energies forming and releasing the sacred exchange between you and the earth. And you can renew this relationship every day, growing more skilled at centering your root chakra, and sending down this energetic cord to the center of the earth. And drawing up the earth energy on the in-breath and drawing up relaxation and ease and just relaxing in this place of support and ease for as long as you like whenever you like and when you're ready take a deep cleansing breath and allow yourself to feel a sense of gratitude for the gentle energy of the earth and the earth's gifts and begin to come back focusing your attention on the first chakra both red and spinning and draw that energetic cord that you sent down to the earth now back up and up up and up and up again returning to yourself aware of your body and your surroundings and you know the way now to connect to the earth through this cord and this support is there for you whenever you like and for whatever you need And just breathing and settling in and with the breath feel your body open to the breath and feeling yourself open to change opening to the process and the possibility of change the changes you want in your life knowing that your subconscious is your ally for change and in working with your unconscious as you're doing now you open the door to changes you want in your life and any and all changes from the mundane to the miraculous and with every breath relaxing more and more Drifting deeper and deeper, and feeling yourself moving toward that landscape within you where change is empowered, the changes you want, power through your own subconscious mind. And right now, you can set your intention for this meditation so that your subconscious hears you and listens and understands what you want because when your subconscious understands what you want to change then it's inevitable it is assured that the change you want will become your reality that's right being clear with your subconscious about what you want 
is all that is needed for the changes you want to become a reality. And take a moment to let yourself realize how powerful this allyship is between you and your subconscious mind. How much can change for you when the changes you want become your reality and it can be done so easily. And state your intent for this meditation and you can say the following affirmation. I am open to the changes in my life that would benefit me now. I am open to the changes in my life that would benefit me now. And on a breath, feel how much is possible for you, that you're open to the changes that will benefit you in your life, and let yourself fully want these changes. Desire these changes to come into your life, and let your emotions around that wanting be strong. Fully feel how much you want change in your life. And seal that wanting with a nice deep breath and feel that wanting and the possibilities of finding a home in you and your subconscious has heard you and now it knows how important change is to you because you know that your subconscious hears the things and knows things differently and it's good to be direct and to use simple language like you just did in your intent. And it's good to feel deeply how much you want these changes just as you allowed yourself to feel this yearning. And tell your subconscious important things that are to you. So allow yourself to feel how much you want change in your life. And in talking to your subconscious mind, it's also good to use imagery and imagination such as sensory images. So right now, let's set up a place in your imagination that lets you enter in the change with a sensory image and symbol. Let's go now to the subconscious control room, your own subconscious control room.
and place where you can let your subconscious know exactly what you want to change. And begin with a long, slow, deep breath. And feel that relaxation. Because your subconscious responds when you're relaxed. So breathe deeply. And feel yourself relaxing even more. Knowing, as you listen to the sound of my voice, and continue to breathe deeply and you will grow more and more relaxed with every breath more and more relaxed with every breath And you find yourself outside a door, from beyond the door, and you can hear sounds of change, perhaps the sound of machinery and engines humming softly, or perhaps the sound of a voice calling your name. The closed door in front of you, and this is the door to change. Take a moment to look at it and take it in. How it looks, how it feels to be standing in front of the door of change. Now is there a doorknob or a lock? What is it made of? And take a moment to fully experience the door that stands now between you and change. And when you feel you're ready to open the door and step into change, you'll find it opens easily to you, swinging wide to invite you in. And inside you find the control room to your subconscious. There are dials and levers everywhere. All kind of things that can be turned on and off. All kinds of functions that can be turned up or down. And take a moment to look around this room at all the controls, the light, the shadows, and the sounds. And experience this room with all your senses as you get to know it. And this is a place that controls your body and how it functions. And there are instruments that can regulate your heartbeat, your metabolism, 
the growth and function of your cells, and so much more. And anything taking place in your body, your organs functioning, or even an illness, or a particular strength can be activated here, or turned up or turned down, or even turned off. How does it feel to know that this is the room that will let you adjust your body and how it functions? And what will be different for you in your life when you can choose to adjust your allergies or your metabolism or augment your strength and muscles? And right now, if it feels right to you, walk closer to a dial or a lever that has something to do with your body functions. And above the dial or lever, there's a sign that indicates what it's for. What does it say? And what is the dial or lever for? And you know, if you don't make out what it's for, that's perfectly fine. This dial or lever can be whatever you want it to be, including something you don't know the name of or know, just something that you can use to adjust in your body that will bring great changes you want in your life. Now reach forward and take hold of the instrument and using your intuition, trusting your intuition, turn the instrument up or down as much or as little as seems right. Trusting your intuition to make this adjustment and noticing how you feel once you have and what has changed for you. And your emotions 
There are dials and levers for your emotions, for joy, for passion, maybe even anger. And there's even a dial for your emotional attachment to things in your past. What emotion would you like to regulate? What feeling would you like more of? Or less of in your life? And walk toward one of the instruments and see what the label above it says for you. And again, if you can't make it out, that's perfectly fine. It can simply be an emotion that you want to regulate, that you don't even need a name for. And your subconscious can just take care of you in a way that brings great things into your life. So right now, Get in touch with your intuition and reach forward. And with your intuition, feel free to adjust this instrument up or down or on and off. And what changes about how you feel or what is possible for you now that you've made this change?
and there are dials and levers and instruments for so many things. All kinds of change. Perhaps luck, abundance, self-confidence, and relationships. There's even one for focus, deep sleep, and even habits. Anything and everything you want in your life. So many things you could adjust, but you can feel confident about what to change. Because this room is here for you always, and you can return to make any changes you like, whenever you like. So right now, gaze around the room, in your mind's eye, or sensing which way to go energetically, feeling that pull in your body, and answering by making your way to a particular dial or lever that will bring the greatest good into your life right now. Making your way there to the dial or lever that will bring you the greatest good in your life right now. And you may be able to read its label. And if you do read it, let it be the first thing that comes into your mind. And if the label is blank or a mystery, how wonderful. Because you're drawn here to make a change. And what a wonderful surprise it will be when you realize what you want adjusted in your life and see the difference it makes. And when you're ready, get in touch with your intuition and adjust the instrument by touch or with your mind or your energy on or off up or down modulating it be just right for you Noticing how you feel once you have, and if you know what has changed for you in your life. And stepping back and getting a feel or a view of the room all the instruments efficiently working to keep your body functioning your emotions rising and falling and all the other elements of your life moving changing and supporting you
and move toward the door now because it's time to return back through the door closing it behind you and it will open for you again when you want and you'll always be able to find your way here and once you've closed the door looking at it sensing it to see if it's changed in any way control room of your subconscious is a powerful tool for you a great support for the changes you want in your life a great way for you to communicate with your subconscious just know that the things you've done here will manifest in your life and are already manifesting already a reality and you need nothing to do more for these changes you want to unfold and if you'd like to work even more closely with your subconscious to this work there are affirmations that you can repeat aloud or in your mind to bring about change Affirmation 1. I am comfortable with the amazing power of my unconscious. I am comfortable with the amazing power of my unconscious. Two. I take great pleasure in connecting with my subconscious. I take great pleasure in connecting with my subconscious. Three. Connecting to my unconscious comes easily to me and effortlessly. Connecting to my unconscious comes to me easily and effortlessly. Four, my higher self shows me new powerful approaches for connecting to my unconscious. My higher self shows me new powerful ways for connecting to my subconscious. Affirmation five, I'm a magnet for possibility and I'm finding new ways for connecting to my unconscious. I'm a magnet for positivity, and I'm finding new ways for connecting to my subconscious. Affirmation 6. I lovingly release all things that prevent me from having more positive change in my life. I release all things that prevent me from having positive changes in my life. Affirmation 7 I am comfortable with more confidence, abundance, and positive change. I am comfortable with more confidence, abundance, and positive change. And finally, Affirmation 8. I believe in the astonishing power of my subconscious. I 
I believe in the astonishing power of my subconscious mind. And now this meditation is coming to a close. Have a wonderful night and sweet dreams. <laughs>